Hello guys and welcome back to our channel. My name is Christina. My name is Danny. And we are Certified Ascension Coaches with Twin Flames Universe and Twin Flames in Harmonious Union. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and today we are going to be talking to you about how to get your Twin Flame in your Divine Masculine to stay. Yes. And how to heal this dynamic of them coming and going and like tell you why that's happening so yes so pretty common you're you know on your twin flame path you have your divine masculine or your twin flame and he comes and he goes he comes and you're ecstatic and it's great and then he leaves again mm -hmm. and then he comes back then he comes back and then he leaves again yeah and so, so how do you solve this problem yeah so like um, we can tell you a little bit first about like what's actually happening here mm -hmm. and what they are teaching you and so yeah what's happening is that um, your twin flame person they are actually taking advantage of you they are coming to you for your honey they're coming to you for your good to you know get like showered in love and then when they get what they want they leave and so yes more often than not this is what's happening more often than not mm -hmm. this is the energy and so yeah because they're coming to you to receive love but then they don't commit to you right they like don't stay and they don't really reciprocate it or like invest it back into you mm -hmm. and so yeah the first step to resolving this issue is to go deeper into like your self-value and self-respect and setting boundaries with this person here yes so you know okay, we, go ahead okay go ahead. well i just i wanted to say first of all that um your twin flame uh twin flame person coming and going um and you know seemingly taking advantage of you perhaps in some areas doesn't make them a bad person right yeah it's just it doesn't make your twin that's taking place yes it doesn't make your twin flame a bad person it doesn't make them you know um abusive and toxic your twin flame is designed to love you always your twin flame will always love you perfectly always and this also means they will love you by pointing out and acting out um places in your consciousness that are in need of self-love and so mm -hmm. the core of all healing related to twin flames is always love it's always loving yourself mm -hmm. so with this um with this you know like specific manifestation um uh, dynamic between you and your twin flame there's a specific kind of love that you need for instance, you know, what you talked self -value, about, self-value yeah. and boundaries Respecting and things like yourself. that. Yeah. Yeah. Like, cause like, yeah, your twin flame, just because he's or she is your twin flame, um, doesn't mean that they're like entitled to your energy or like your love. Cause that like your love is like valuable, like your energy and your time is extremely valuable. And so, yeah, like they don't just like earn it or deserve it because they are your twin and this is not to say you don't love them unconditionally like you do love them unconditionally but you love them unconditionally by not like playing out the patterns as well because this pattern doesn't serve them either yeah. and so yeah and you have to like put yourself first like the proper order of priorities on your twin flame journey is first god then you and then your twin flame mm -hmm. and so it's always you first and so, yeah, um, if you want to end this dynamic, then yeah, you have to get clear on like why you are like giving them what they want when they come back. Yeah, like why you are allowing them to behave in this way. Mm -hmm. Like um, you have power over your reality. You have full power over your union mm -hmm. and you yeah, have all the powers in your hands. All the, yeah. All the power is in your hands to completely heal your union forever and to completely transcend this dynamic. And furthermore, you have all the power to manifest your union with your twin flame mm -hmm. full time, your harmonious union. And so yeah. um, what we're saying here is that this dynamic doesn't um, 
happen because you are powerless. This dynamic happens because somewhere within you, you are choosing and allowing this dynamic to take place because you're not taking a stand within yourself. You're not choosing better for yourself. You're not loving yourself here and really claiming um, your more. Value and you're like, like your value, you your true deserve. value. Yeah. yeah. Like the core of the whole twin flame journey is about self love. And so, um, yeah, that would, that's just like, that is the place to go into, mm -hmm. um, when it, when it comes to healing this. Yeah. And so, yeah, the, the best way to, um, communicate this to them is like through a boundary. Yeah. Um, and yeah, just putting an energetic boundary within yourself of not, allowing yourself to go through that again when they come back um, because like it's not just gonna change itself one day like you have to make the choice mm -hmm. and so yeah you can just make the choice to not allow that behavior anymore and to change here and so yeah when the opportunity arises um, you can reaffirm your new choice to respect yourself and say like no I'm not going to choose this again not going to allow myself to go through that and I choose to like value myself and like my energy and you can use that energy that you're pouring into them and to yourself instead because that is the real way to create your union with them yes. and so yeah especially if you're investing in them um, and they're going away then they don't necessarily they haven't like earned that energy from you yet because if you are giving to them and you are loving them and you are meant to receive in return. It's a two-way relationship of giving yes. and receiving. Yes, and this goes into the next area of going deeper within yourself, which is respect. Having self-respect and also respecting your experience and respecting what your twin flame is showing you. Your twin flame is showing you, hey, I'm going to take advantage of you here. Come and get all loved up and then I'm going to leave. That's not like... That's not respectful and for you to let's just say you're you're really desiring to completely commit to your twin flame you want a long-term forever committed relationship with your twin flame and so your current way of going about that is being fully committed to them every time they come back to try and get them to commit um, that is not respecting your current experience of what they're showing you if they are showing you hey, I'm disrespecting you here by not committing to you, by just coming and going, by respecting what they're showing you and saying no to it and saying, hey, like I choose to respect myself and I respect that you are currently choosing to do mm -hmm. this. Yeah. I'm the no longer going to allow Where is the book? this to happen. Oh, it's right there. Yeah. Um, yeah, Jeff and Shalia talk about this in depth in their book. They have a whole section on self-respect. Highly recommend it. It's on Amazon. You can also get it on twinflamesuniverse.com. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, uh, respect is one of the eight keys to, to harmonious, harmonious twin flame union. Um, and you were talking about boundaries earlier too. Yeah, boundaries is a part of respect. Yeah. But yeah, so um, yeah, like by accepting the experience even though maybe it feels bad that, mm -hmm. you know, this is occurring. Um, and you can transcend it. You have the you have the ability to transcend it and to fully heal it. You just have to accept it, mm -hmm. accept that it's happening, but also like understand that you do have the power to change this. You do have the power to heal it fully. And so by accepting it, respecting it, and putting up boundaries, you can very much... Um, you know, move change through the this. dynamic because yeah. yeah they won't they will no longer do this because they know that you're not enabling it anymore and and also an important piece here is um you don't have to fear that you're gonna lose them this mm -hmm. is a big thing yeah I was this just is thinking why that. yeah the divine feminine like mm -hmm. we move through this as we feel like if we don't give the divine masculine what he wants then he's gonna leave but like what's been happening this whole time right like that uh, it's been coming and going been coming and going so yeah it doesn't doesn't work so um if you mirror it right using the mirror exercise you're mm -hmm. it's a an abandonment wound of like where you're leaving yourself and so yeah you can love yourself there yeah. and know that like your divine masculine your twin flame 
is one with you and yeah you're meant to be together and he cannot leave you he's you so if you're not abandoning yourself he's not going to abandon you and when you are loving yourself he's going to reflect that back to you so yes. it's safe to release any fear here about him leaving for good yeah because if he leaves for good he's probably not your twin flame mm -hmm. yeah there's nothing you can do to damage your relationship with your twin flame I went through this in my healing process of coming together with you too, of feeling like I could make some kind of unforgivable mistake. Yeah, and then your union is ruined. And then, you know... Not happening in this lifetime. Yeah. But it's not true. Like, yeah, no. Yeah, Jeff and Shalee talk about how your union is like an indestructible like military tank. Like, you can't ruin it because it's just based on your relationship with yourself and you can change your relationship with yourself at any time you want to just yep. by loving yourself so exactly yes so there is nothing to fear and there is nothing to worry about yeah everything is all good it's just um choosing to let go of fear fear will tell you all sorts of kind of crazy things about um why you should not choose love for yourself mm -hmm. um so you can let all of those um Fears go. Fears go and choose to love yourself and uh, choose to love and respect yourself and put up boundaries. And um, that in itself will make a world of difference. And then obviously continuing to do the inner work, uh, you know, taught by the teachings of union using the mirror exercise and all mm -hmm. of that stuff. You'll be able to move through this one very swiftly. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, yeah. Um, is there anything else that's coming up for you? No, I feel no. complete. Okay, cool. Cool. Well, yeah, thank you for watching. We hope that you enjoyed this video. Um, please do like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Mm -hmm. And we will have links below to the teachings of Union and also to work with us. We are certified Ascension coaches. And yeah, I have a group coaching class at 12 p.m. on Saturdays. And I would love to have you there. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, you can see more about that below. Sounds good. Well... Have a good one. We'll see you in the next video. I'll yeah, see you in the next one. Thanks. Bye.